We're going to look at a few different ways of searching for literature within the discipline of psychology. I will focus on accessing journal articles, as these will be very useful for your studies, and you may discover that some assignments will specify that you need to use journal articles or empirical papers that have been published in the last few years. When searching for literature, it is important to remember that Goldsmiths Library provides access to thousands of resources, both physically in the library building, such as the print books, and online through access to ebooks and subscriptions to journal articles. That's why it's best to start your literature search using the library website to provide you with the quickest access. To find the library website, go to any gold.ac.uk webpage and use the staff and students menu on the top right. You can also find a link to the library on the Goldsmiths app. The library website includes a lot of useful information. We're going to use Library Search, our catalogue, to start our literature search. Library Search will search across nearly all of our library resources, including books and journal articles. Let's search for Social Psychology by Branscombe and Barron. To search for a book, remember to include the author or editors, as lots of psychology books have very similar titles. Here we can see that we have multiple versions of this book, in both print and as an ebook. Look out for slight name changes that may affect how your results display, such as this international edition. As there are multiple editions, double check you are using the newest edition. Here we can see this is the 13th edition from 2014. Here we can see where the book is located on the shelf. If all of the print items are on loan, you can request a copy. To do this, you need to sign in using your library barcode number and PIN. Then you will see a request button if all of the books are on loan. You may find that a textbook includes an important chapter for your research. However, you need to go beyond the textbooks for more detailed and current studies found in academic journals. When searching for journal articles, we can be much more specific in our keywords, as we will be able to find journal articles on studies or narrow topics. Let's say we're looking for articles on attachment and maternal deprivation. Once we start searching, we can filter down to journal articles and narrow our results to show only journal articles published within the last 10 years. To access a journal article, click on the PDF links or the green full text available link. If you are accessing the resource from home, you may be asked to sign in using your usual Goldsmiths username and password. Another good reason to sign into library search is so that you can use the pin symbol to collect any useful items as you find them, so that you can find them again later. To access the pinned items, use the pin symbol at the top of library search. You can export these items to a reference management system like Zotero or email the references to yourself. Library search is a broad search of our resources and is not specific to psychology. To find specialist databases for psychology, 
it's best to head to the Psychology Subject Guide on the library website. This contains a lot of information you may find useful during your studies. Head to the Databases section to find PsycInfo. PsycInfo is an abstract database of publications in psychology and the behavioural and social sciences provided by the American Psychological Association. As it is specialist, you will find better indexing and more useful information such as the research methodology. We recommend using the advanced search. Let's try our search again, attachment and maternal deprivation. Note that I'm using the AND command here. This will ensure that all of my results will mention both attachment and maternal deprivation. Here you can see I have 237 results. I'm going to add a filter from 2010 onwards to reduce my results to more current research. I'm also going to filter to only academic journals so that I don't see any books or dissertations in my results. To see if we have access to the journal articles, use the Find It at Gold button. This result is available via Elsevier, so I just need to click on this link to read the article. However, some articles involve more steps to get access. This article says no full text available. My next step will be to check whether the article is available at Senate House Library using this link. You have access to Senate House Library because Goldsmiths is part of the University of London. You have access to their e-resources from anywhere and you can register online from home too. You can see that this article is not the top result on Senate House's catalogue, so they don't have access. If you can't find access through Senate House Library, then the next step is to request an interlibrary loan through this link. This will allow us to borrow the article for you and the PDF will be emailed to you normally within a few working days. Remember to plan your research in advance to allow for this. One of the benefits of using PsycInfo is that when we click on an individual search result, we see lots of information about the article. We can see an abstract of the article, subject headings, and keywords which may help us improve our search terms. We can also see information about the methodology and population of the study. To improve our search terms, we can also use the thesaurus at the top of PsycInfo. This will show us the subject headings that PsycInfo uses for all of its articles. Let's try looking at maternal deprivation and change the search to term contains. We can see two subject headings here animal maternal deprivation or mother absence. When we click on mother absence, we can see that this term is not specific to animals, so perhaps we want to use mother absence as one of our keywords to improve our results. We can also see a broad term called parental absence. Let's use all three search terms and we can combine them with the command or. This will broaden our results to include anything that mentions maternal deprivation or maternal absence or parental absence. Let's return our attachment keyword.
you can see how we have increased our results compared to our original search, as we used OR to broaden our search to include different terms. We can also use other filters to make sure our results are relevant, such as by narrowing by methodology to ensure all results are empirical studies. Now we have more results, let's filter to only those published in the last four years. and return our academic journals filter. As a final improvement, we can also use speech marks to specify that we only want results that mention the exact terms we used, with the two words next to each other. You can use your search history to see how your search has improved and which terms and filters worked best for you. To recap, use library search for a broad search that includes print and electronic books. Use PsycInfo for a more specialist search of psychology journal articles particularly if you're looking for empirical studies. And lastly, spend time thinking about your search terms and how you combine them to get the best results. You can find more information on the Psychology Subject Guide here. And remember to register for Senate House Library. You can do this online here. Hopefully this video has helped you get started with your psychology literature search. If you get stuck, don't forget that you can visit the help desk in the library for more help or use our online chat for more assistance.